I'm gonna show you how I do it. And my assistant Grace is gonna come up here and help me. So, hi guys! So, push right. against this, please. All right, so now we're gonna start putting it to actually, we're actually gonna start putting it together now. And this is a pilot hole. We have to do a pilot hole for our bit. I mean, for our um, screw. Yes, we do. Be sure when you do your pilot hole that the boards line up and that you don't move them until you put the screw in. Alright, so now we're gonna put in a screw. Where's Grace? screws? In my pocket. Right. Now I'm gonna do that. Okay, you wanna do this part? Yes. Okay. screen which makes it a lot easier to do all the other screws. Yes. So now press this side like that. All right, do you want me to do the hole yes. or do you want to do it? You want me. All right. Okay. And this is just what we just did on the other side. Another screw in. And then we put in another screw. All right, you want to do the screw? Yes, I do. All righty. Tidy. Okay. All right, so there's the back. This is the back of our house. No, there's we got to put in two screws on each side. Oh, okay. okay. Excuse me. And we have to do, he said that we have to do two screws in each um, side of the roof. So, all right. And bluebirds are not only very beautiful, but they um, also. Well, well, they're actually really useful. Yeah, they protect um, crops from insects and creating a reliable food source. And a lot of people will plant, will build bluebird boxes around their um, gardens and crops. So that's why we do these, because they're really beautiful and they're very useful. You ready to do the screws? Yep. Alrighty, Daddy. Tidy. And we like to check the bluebird boxes for um, eggs in the breeding season. And then sometimes you'll even see baby bluebirds. It's really cool. And I hope y'all have a grill. Y'all got to find a grill so y'all can do this. Yeah. Or you'd have to use a screwdriver if you, if you didn't have a drill, and that would take a long time. Okay, I'm gonna my screws. All right, that one's in. All right, so you see we did two screws on each side of the roof, and the roof was already put together. Now, the front goes last, so we have to do the sides now. All right, you hold that right there, I'm gonna go do the pilot hole. All right, so we are drilling the pilot hole to put on the side. you get one screw in it's a lot easier to do all the other ones because you've got it held in place like you already said yes let's do it all straight and we have to do at least two screws on each side yes but i would say call it two screws you want me to get 
why it's not using so much battery. Sure. Oh, I know. Do I flip it? Yeah. <gasps> Two power to one power. That uses a lot less battery. All right. All right. You want to do the screw? Yep. Alrighty. Alrighty. And some people they can go ahead and you like, can go ahead. Yeah. like and start like screwing it in by hand. So you don't gotta worry about holding it. Then you can just go like That's that. That's a lot easier. But for me, I just like to hold it and I was just showing y'all how it fit. Alright, so that's good. And then let's do the other side. Okay? And the dimensions of the sides, both of the sides and the bottom, is the, um, they're the same dimensions. And you can make your bluebird house however big. Yeah, you own can it. Something big, really big. Alright, so, alright, can you hold this? Let's start with the bottom. Yep, you do the bottom first. Good job. Okay. Alright, and when you're doing your pilot hole to get lined up for your screw, you always want to hold it really still so that you don't accidentally move the board and then the pilot hole gets off center. And then the board cracks. Yeah, and that's and, not good. Yes, and you want it to look good for the blue bars and some people can paint them. Yeah, you can paint them. I've seen people do them really, really pretty. All right, got it. Okay, so now let's do the pilot hole for the other, for the top of the side. But you never want to use a staple gun because a staple gun, you can't check it for eggs. That's something bad about it. But when you go to check okay. it, you want a br to bring a drill because if you don't, you'll have to bring it back to the shop or somewhere where where you can take it apart. And you have to check it for eggs. Yes, and then the mother bluebird will find her nest not there. All right, so now we're putting on the front and the front is really important because the hole, this hole right here on the front is for the bluebirds to get in and out or otherwise they would just be trapped in there forever, which is not good. And so they can get in and out, but you don't want a hole too big because then sparrows will get in and you really want bluebirds. I mean, sparrows are okay, but you really want bluebirds. And so you have to have a hole one inch in diameter to make sure that um, you don't get sparrows. But I mean, sparrows are okay, but you want bluebirds. All right, okay, so you come on my side. Hold on, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, just do it like that. All right, so hold it. And I'm gonna do my pilot hole like we always do because it's so much easier when you do a pilot hole. Yes, and, and if you don't, the board could crack and you'd be never going back. And then the bluebirds won't like it and they'll say, huh, that was strange. <laughs> uh oh, okay, my battery's dying. What if I put it on two power? No, put it on one power, oh, so it'll okay. stay bad. Excuse me. Alright, that's okay, we can just get it like that by a minute. But you do not want to do what we just did. <laughs> I think I already said, but okay. you do not want to do it. There. Okay, now it's going to be a lot easier. Alright, so we're going to do the pilot hole. Okay, so I'm gonna get this. Oh, Grace, 
it's not even the only one. Yes, sir, it's this one. Oh, uh, then we can just go in over here. Over here. Yep. But you want it to be a little bit longer than how we have it? Yeah. that you enjoyed our video from this week and about the bluebird houses and all of the stuff we've done on the farm this week and just know about the bluebird houses there is so many ways you can build a bluebird house that is just one of them and we hope that y'all will enjoy your bluebird houses and that y'all will have a great week yeah yeah